Hi and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today's video is about automation again, but for VSTi instruments. There's going to be two ways you can do them. So let's dive in right away. All right, I've recorded some MIDI uh, through this Vita String Ensemble VSTi. Let's listen. Um, if we want to automate stuff, uh, we can go into the object, double click on it, and go into MIDI editor. And at the bottom here, you can show uh, different controllers. This is the velocity right now that we see, but we can change it for any of those available. And of course, those functions might not be enabled or might not do anything to the VST, depending how the VSTi is programmed. But let's uh, try the mud wheel. Uh, we can go and take the pen and then write some stuff. And let's listen now. Okay, so let's try another one. Let's say maybe the pitch bend. Okay, let's listen. Okay, maybe further. So you can automate whatever you want directly on the object. But let's say you have many objects and you want to go automate uh, some stuff across them. Then um, you can go right here and choose some automation right there. So there's some volume and stuff, but if you go to the instrument itself, you see that those, we don't know what they are. Maybe they are program change or I don't know. Uh, but at the bottom, MIDI controller gets the same uh, controls that you saw into uh, the object. Except it seems that we don't see the pitch band and other top function. Let's see. Right here. Velocity, pitch band, and aftertouch. They are not seen in those right here. So that's the exception. Let's try the volume. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, Hit the bell to get notifications. Go in the comments. You can ask any questions. I'm going to try to do a video about it or answer you directly. And if you want to help the channel, go in the description of this video. There's some links to buy some Magix products. And of course, share those videos. It's always a great help. Mm -hmm.